Hello, Josh here. Welcome to a new video where you will learn how MEV bots work. Many people know about MEV bots, but they don't know what's so special about them. There are bots making millions of dollars a month a year in profit without any work. They just set it up, code those things, and they let them run for profits. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the three main types of MEV bots and how they work so, you, so that you can understand better the technology behind all of this exciting industry and how to create maybe your own bots. In an article here, and we will go through it, and I will show you the different types. So here's Lip MEV. It's a page that shows you the profit that MEV bots are making, and it's very accurate, according to some sources. And you can see here mainly there are three main MEV boats. They're arbitrage, sandwich, and liquidation. Those are the three types. The first one is arbitrage. It's the most common one. And as you can see here, it's very simple. You buy at one exchange like Uniswap and you sell at another exchange like SushiSwap and you make a profit. Let's say the token ABC, it's on Uniswap and you can get 100 tokens for one Ether. And on SushiSwap, you can get 90 tokens for one Ether. Meaning on SushiSwap, it's more expensive. So if you buy on Uniswap, you get 100 tokens for one Ether, then you sell it on SushiSwap, you get 1.5 or whatever Ether. So you made a profit of 0.05. And I mean, it's pretty simple, right? So that's how you do arbitrage. You find different exchanges, and you simply arbitrage the same token on different places. You buy at one place, and you sell at another. Now, arbitrage bots are very competitive. They are the ones making the most money. And there are many different variations. You can go through multiple different types. One of them is buying at one place, selling at another, getting a middle token, and that token swapping back. It's, it's a lot of different things that you can do, but at the end, you make a decent profit. And it's the first type of bot. For this, you don't need any fancy know-how. You don't need flash bots or anything else because you can execute everything in one transaction. What you need to do is you need to write a smart contract that allows you to buy and sell at the same time because you don't want to allow time to affect your profitability. Now there is sandwich bots. This is the one that I prefer. I've been working on this for months and years and it's one where you buy a token, then someone else buys that same token and you sell the token. This is much more complicated that than arbitrage because you need to be watching transactions. You need to detect someone buying a token and you use slippage to extract a profit. So let's say John, like here, wants to buy 100 tokens ABC for one Ether. There is something called slippage, which means that he is okay. He accepts the fact that price may move and may increase in price during the time that the transaction is processing. So he allows a slippage of 5% or he is okay with receiving 95 ABC tokens. If he receives less than that, the transaction drops. He doesn't swap the tokens because it's less than what he wants to get. And let me repeat that. When you swap a token, there is some time until it is added to the blockchain. There's some time that passes, and during that time, someone else may come before you. This is because Ethereum is open, and there are a few seconds between transaction. So when someone comes before you, when someone buys before you, the price increases, and you get less tokens. That's slippage. So the sandwich bot is all about slippage. It buys before. First, it detects a buyer, detects someone buying. Let's say John wants to buy 100 ABC tokens for one Ether. The bot then buys before John. The same token, whatever amount is needed to move the price so that John gets the minimum amount, he is willing to accept the slippage. So the bot buys before John, and then the bot sells the same tokens for a profit in Ether. That's how it works. Bot buys. The price of John is affected. He gets less tokens because the price has been increased. There is more demand for the token, and the bot sells all the tokens that the bot received. And this is pretty simple to understand. But when it comes to implementation, you need to understand how to use bundles, how to send private transactions with flash bots, how to execute this in a timely fashion. Because if you spend more than one or two seconds executing all of this functionality, John's transaction will be accepted and you will miss the opportunity. Sandwiching is one of the most competitive fields in MEV because there's famous actors like Jared 
where they have fine-tuned their bots to the point of an extreme level where they extract the most profit. And they will, at the end of the day, whoever makes the most profit is the one that takes that opportunity. Because let's say there is five people, five of them see the same opportunity for buying and selling, only one of them can be accepted because John's transaction cannot be repeated multiple times, only once. So the one that captures the most profit, one that is more precise or faster or creates more profit for validators or minor, then that's the one that will take the opportunity. So this is how it works. And for this to work, you need to have MEV bundles that come from Flashbots. That way you can make private transaction. I could go on forever on how this works, and there are so many different things, but that's the basic idea. Then there's the liquidation bots. This one is less popular. Not many people are executing liquidation bots, but the functionality is the following. John takes a loan for 1,000 Tether, locking $2,000 worth, worth of Ether collateral. As you know, with the crypto loan, you need to, to put some collateral deposit, some crypto, so that you can borrow all crypto. And the value of that deposit, the collateral needs to be higher than what you borrow. That's the, the guarantee. Your collateral is guaranteeing your loan. It's making sure that if you leave or you don't pay the loan, the collateral is sold and we are able to recover the profits. So let's say the loan expires. John doesn't pay the loan for a year or so. The loan is bad, is no longer valid. So a bot liquidation bot sees that it's expired and since these lending protocols like Compound are open source, they allow anybody to execute this type of functionality. They simply execute the function, they close the loan, they pay the debt for whoever got the loan, and uh, keep some of the profits. That's how it works. The bot goes through loans, he checks that they are good or bad, and the bad ones, he closes them, because he is able to do that and gets some of the profit from the loan and the profit comes from the collateral. I know it sounds confusing if you're not familiar with lending protocols. I encourage you to take a look at them. There are many of them. Most popular ones are AAVE and Compound Finance, but it's a, it's a very straightforward functionality and not many people are doing it. If you want more informative videos on how to run an MEV bot yourself, keep a watch on my channel. I will help you make passive income and keep you updated with the latest tech. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe the channel if you like the content.